Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and in today's video, uh, which is uh, the fourth part of uh, how to draw geometries uh, in the CAD CAM uh, environment, uh, we will see a more specific uh, ellipse and polygons. So let's immediately start with the ellipse. It's pretty easy, it's here. And you have only two different ways to draw an ellipse. The first one is uh, by two points, so you will have to start uh, and draw the first one. And then for the second one, you know, you can decide where it needs to go. And it's going to be basically, uh, as you can say, in the dash line all around, uh, you know, it's going to be contained, let's say, the, from a rectangle. So that is... Uh, uh drawing an ellipse with two points otherwise uh, you can uh, use this uh, other option where uh, basically you have to specify the location of the center point and uh, remember you can click anywhere here in the working area otherwise you can specify coordinates here in the right panel uh, but then uh, as you can see, you need to specify the radius for the semi-axis 1 and the radius for the semi-axis 2. This time, just to do something different, use uh, the, the right panel. So, I don't know, 1000 and 200. And confirm. Remember that uh, the software uh, will uh, suggest basically to start with a new one and you can keep uh, drawing ellipses or close uh, the command just pressing here uh, on the right panel, uh, bottom right corner, undo or escape in your keyboard and it's gonna close the function. Then, uh, the second thing that we need to see today is uh, basically this one, polygon. And let me just move the ellipses. And, uh, ah, by the way, if you want to pan, basically you do it uh, uh, pressing and holding the wheel on the mouse, the scrolling uh, button. Then here for the polygon, uh, we have uh, different options, as we can see here. So type of construction is uh, basically if you want the radius to be uh, the external or the internal. So the external is basically the radius between two lines. So the common point between the two lines. The other one, so the internal radius is considered the midpoint of one of the sides, or one of the lines. So you can decide which one is uh, the radius you need uh, to draw this uh, polygon. And uh, by default, uh, uh, the polygon is uh, set uh, uh, with three sides, but you can change in any way, five, eight, or as many as you want. So, um, the other option is to draw a star. So, in this case, which is this one here on the right, the first line on the right here, uh, what is the difference? This one allows you to actually specify two different radiuses. So the external and also the internal. So external, uh, let me change the amount. So five, five tip star, okay. And so you determine, again, just clicking anywhere or specifying directly here uh, the length uh, of the radius in the right panel. 400 
and then the internal so and again here directly in the working area or here in the panel and confirm we can close the function and here they are now uh, if you want to edit something uh, already present here in the working area just uh, remember that you can double click directly on the geometry and as you can see you have uh, all the parameters here uh, for um, position length of the radiuses uh, here in the right panel or you can uh, uh, click and select the geometry directly here uh, from the list so double click and you can change pretty much everything so again from here or directly from the working area So this is it for this video, I hope you liked it and it was helpful, see you at the next video.